This is Oakley. He's 10 months old and he's not perfect. <laughs> right? Uh, he's never been in this kind of a position before uh, to be on stage. But he's a Belgian Malinois. He's a working breed. He loves to work. Thank you. But what I want to explain is when, when I first got him, sit. Good. Down. Down. Good. Okay. When I first got him, and I was training him, I worked a lot, you know, like five minutes a day, three times a day. And um, then, oh, there's people out there. Look at that. Now, I'm preaching a sermon, and if you want to go to doggy heaven, you will do what I say. Oh, he sees Andrew. He, he likes Andrew. Okay, sit. Good. That's down, but that's all right. Um, so when I would take him to the field and, and we would, we would. <laughs> and we would, I need the toy, guys. I need the toy. Where's my toy? Um, <laughs> I, I would th throw the ball and he would go to the other side of the field. No, no, I need the toy. I need the toy. I need... We're out of sequence now. Oakley, here. Good. Sit. All right. Um, he's, he's, he's working right now. I need the toy, guys. Where's my toy? I gave him all of this instruction beforehand. I, what am I going to do? He, you listen better than they do. That's great. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. What's this? What's this? So I would throw the toy, and he would go all the way to the other side of the field, take the toy, and just lay down. And I'd say, here, here, here. And what happened? Because of distance, my, my words had no weight. And so uh, I was introduced to the e-collar. Now, hold on a second, because this is not a shock collar. Krista knows. It's not a shock collar. This is a e-collar because it is a wireless leash. Okay. So what happens is, see, what, what I want you to see is this is law. Do this. Do that. Do this. What are you doing? Get over here. Here. Sit. Sit. Down. 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 Good. See, that's law. Okay. <laughs> down. But see, a wireless leash, has anybody ever been to physical therapy and you get like a TENS unit, does a little stimulus? It doesn't hurt. It just, it's just a, a simple tap. So when I give a command with this wireless leash on the collar, I can give a command and I tap it at the same time. Now my word carries weight to say, sit, stand, here. That means if you give him a command, he doesn't get this. He gets this from me and me alone. Yeah. See, this is the power of distinguishing the voice of the Spirit versus our voice and the voice of the enemy and our relatives' voice and our parents' voice and, and, and our coworkers' voices and Facebook's voices and Instagram voices. You ready? Sit. Nope. Sit. Okay, let's, let's, let's try. Whisper. Yes, good. Whisper. No. Oh, oh, he wants the toy. No. Down. Break. Down. <laughs> See, God wants to have that kind of communication with us. That in the moment we get distracted... He can interrupt us from getting hurt. This is probably one of the most important commands that you can give a dog is down because when they're chasing something, they're not paying attention to cars and roads. And so when you can say down and they heed that and you have weight to the word, guess what? They respond and you just saved their life. The Holy Spirit wants to have that kind of communication ability in our life. Break. Here. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. Ow, I gotta fly, stop, out. Good, heel, heel, good, heel, good, guard, 
Good. Garden. Garden. Good. Down. Down. Now, see, sometimes we get like this, and we only focus on one thing, and sometimes it's the wrong thing. Oakley, heal. Heal. Okay, heal. Sit. Some of us are like this. We're just like, what do I need to do, God? What do I need to do? I'll do it. Right? Here. Here. Down. Sit. Down. Sit. Okay. Here. Sit. Okay, Ole. Now I'm going to show you another level of this. And so we're going to kind of distract and we're going to see. Go ahead, Ole. And we're going to kind of distract and see what happens here. Because sometimes things happen in our life that we have no control over. And it's amazing what happens when we don't pay attention. So the Holy Spirit will say, guard. No. Guard. 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 And we're going to take this off. And sometimes we want things. And the Lord's like, no, it's not time. But I want it. You can come this way. Ready? Hugging. And sometimes we get so distracted holding on to things that the Lord's like, out, and we don't want to let go. Heal. Guard. Sit. But there's other times that there's complete control. Hey, brother, how you doing? Good, good. Right on. Give me a hug. Yeah. Yeah. All right on. Oh. Ouse. Ouse. Here. Guard. Did you see that? Sit. How you doing? Good. How you doing? Right on. So good to see you. We really appreciate you. But oh. House. Good boy. Good boy. House. Here. Good boy. Heal. All right. You can guard. All right. All right. We're gonna send Oli away. No. Down. <laughs> this is where we need to be with God. Wherever God is, that's where. Guard. Guard. Hey, guard. Watch him. Watch him. All right, come get him, please. Good boy. Say goodbye. <laughs> Speak. He's like, Here. where'd Oli go? Here, take him. Good boy. Go find Oli. He's back there. <laughs> Just so you know, that's a lot of investment to make that happen. <laughs> Now you know why we take those photos. <laughs> John 10, 5 says it this way. I want you to see this. After he has gathered his own flock, he walks ahead of them. And they follow him because they know his voice. They won't follow a stranger. They will run from him because they don't know his voice. And so many people don't recognize the difference between a stranger talking and God talking. And, and when I, sometimes in, in our pastoral life, we hear people and they're talking and they're like, they're listening to the voice of a stranger. We know they're listening to the voice of a stranger because everything the stranger was telling them contradicts God's word, contradicts God's character, contradicts God's nature. And we're sitting here going, you just don't know God like you need to, like you should. You don't know the word like you need to know the word. 
Because the more you know the word, the more you know the character and nature of the word, and therefore the more easily it will be for you to recognize the voice of the Spirit speaking to you. 